take three part whatever um, I've been in self-imposed loose isolation since uh, May 2018 when I pulled myself out of therapy because I knew that I still needed therapy but I knew that I needed different therapy um, the I, I needed to see I needed I needed to not be working with that practice and with that practitioner um, because of some experiences there that were not there. It, it's systemic things. It's not, I do not ascribe that to the particular employees. Like I don't hold the things that happened there against those particular practitioners, uh, but I don't need to go back there. Um, so, um, yes, I, acknow I acknowledge that it is not the same kind of slavery um, that black people were subjected to for centuries, um, for which we should have reparations. Um, and I do recognize that I'm a white person and so there, I may be affected by reparations in ways that feel negative to me. Um, but I support them. I support that. If I have to give up a little bit so, so that black people can have a better quality of life, yes, please. Yes, please. Um... I just don't know how to do that effectively as a as a poor person with rage issues. Um, so mostly what keeps me alive now is rage. Um, I function best in cold rage, so so there's hot rage and there's cold rage. And hot rage is the part where I cannot control my emotions uh, or my actions. Um, in cold rage, I can focus that energy some, um, but it doesn't last long because the heat comes back fairly quickly. Um, so in those times, I remember that living is a form of resistance too. And um, the reason I wanted to make sure I mentioned Crash Course is because that's the most recent place I heard that um, was in the Black American History series there. Um, and I love the the Crash Course hosts and the production. I love it. Um, but I, I, I don't, I don't love how, how much pressure there is for organizers to do phone banking and texting because during the election, y'all almost activated me out of existence. I could not handle the, the number of text messages that I was getting from people I didn't know. That shit is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Stop, stop the, the, the massive phone banking and texting. I... <sighs> And I feel bad because I don't have the better way. Um, so one of the Crash Course people is Radish, and I super love Radish. Um, and I've watched a lot of her videos, but I there there has to be something better. Um, okay, refocus. Um, I withdraw from physical social space physical social spaces because I do not want to risk losing emotional control and crossing a physical violence barrier. Um, so sexual violence, I guess, is a type of physical violence in a physical space. I we can have cyber sexual violence. Like that's a thing. Um, at least I would think. Some people some people do tend to focus on the, the physical harm element of violence. 
Um, moving on. Um, I don't want to cross that barrier. I, I have never physically harmed someone. It, yeah, oh yes, I have. I threw a phone at my sister in middle school. I threw a phone at my sister in middle school. And it connected. So yes, I have crossed that barrier too. Um, but it, okay. Um, so, so my, my, the, the way I think of it, um, and so it was, all right, reading, focus, because now I remember that there's, yeah, okay, um, so I don't want to give the assholes, um, who wish me dead the satisfaction just because humanity disgusts me. Um, I love myself and I hope, I hope that since people are still inflicting humanity on this planet, I, I love the, um, and I think that I remember from watching lots of extras features and stuff about the matrix that Cornell West is the philosopher, I think with the, the humanity is a virus. I, I remember that Cornell West philosophy played, um, a pretty significant role in the development of the matrix series. And I'm a huge fan of the, I say huge fan, like it means the same thing to me that, it, or, or that me being a huge fan of anything means to anyone else. Um, my, my fandom is not something that artists aspire to. I am a shitty fan, just like I'm a shitty storyteller. Um, but I, I still get to be a fan. Like you can't gate keep me out of being a fan of something. That's not okay. Um, so yeah. All right, so I love myself and since people are still inflicting humanity on this planet, um, I hope that people like me will eventually find love and acceptance in both global and local communities across the globe for being themselves. I hope someday we embrace polyamory as a good thing, um, and, and learn that, or accept the research that shows that marriage is oppressive and it's only one way for, that's only one way for relationships to work. Um, and we shouldn't pressure everybody into it just like we shouldn't pressure everybody to stay alive. All right, so until we as a society can accept that some people want and deserve to die um, so the, um, I watched recently and know it's had significant influence. Um, philosophy tube is a YouTube channel and I do not remember the woman's name yet. Um, but the, the woman who puts her face on philosophy tube, um, she has a video about capital capital punishment um and i believe that our capital capital punishment system needs to be more humane because yes i do believe that some people deserve to die and i believe that some people deserve to die because they want to die not because they have committed some crime that makes the rest of us want them to die some people deserve to die because it's what they want. I want people who want to live, to live. And people like me, people like me, who want to die, to be able to choose a death that they feel good about. Instead of choosing deaths that involve deceiving people we love and denying, the, uh, in denying people we love the opportunity to participate in a good death. Um, and in, in take one or two, I mentioned 